Coach Plank, man, uh, fast, physical game tonight. I mean, just moments ago it ended. What's what's going through your head? Well, I'm proud of our guys the way they battled, especially with the way that the game started. Um, our team a year ago would have folded, and we had guys make big-time play plays, especially at the end whenever you know they tied it up. Um, I was proud of Hunter and Max. I mean, the whole crew, uh, Ryan, Baylor, Woods stepped up, Nick, um, Caden, the whole crew stepped up and played big tonight and uh, didn't shy away from the moment. So, Caden I had for 20 points, 16 boards, three or four blocks probably. I mean, that was a, that was a performance where it just seemed like any ball he wanted, anything he wanted, he, he went and got. Yeah, he usually has one or two a night where you're like, wow, how did he get that? Um, and there was even one a night where it would have been an uh, impressive rebound. He didn't get it, and I was surprised he didn't. So when that kid chooses to turn it on, he's a handful. So you guys are kind of hanging, you know, tie game, you're, you're close, or you're leading, and Max had not scored at that point. What does that say about this team, the ability? And you guys had to be feeling pretty good, too, knowing that Max was eventually going to get something. Yeah, well, we played a lot of ball last summer, um, and the idea behind that was to get guys to realize they can score and just get them comfortable with, with big moments. Um, and a couple guys made some huge plays tonight. Probably, the, I know it maybe it was unimportant at the end, but when they were picked up the defensive pressure and Hunter took a back dribble and hit Caden on a back cut. Um, a year ago, that doesn't happen. So. How about uh, Ryan, jo Ryan Johnson fouls out? One of your seniors fouls out uh, late third period, seconds left in the third, and your team, um, you know, uh, is that another one of those? This is a, this team, team would have folded last year, but they continue to battle. Yeah, and it, you know, Nick foul stepped in, Braden Wood steps in. Um, we put Ryan in a tough spot. We knew he could foul out, but we also knew we needed a spark at the time. Um, and then he fouled out and became the biggest fan on the bench, so I was proud of him. District Final Tuesday, what are your preliminary thoughts? You don't know who you're going to play yet, but what's it going to take? Uh, I mean, it's, it's going to be a tough game. Um, obviously, we played Clarinda before, um, so we're going to get a look at Trainer tonight. Both teams are good. Um, you know, we're, we're happy to, to be where we are, but we're not done. Um, so we're going to stay here tonight and get a, get a live scouting report and see what we can do. Congrats, Coach. All right, thank you. Bergren, it is a, uh, well, he's the team spokesman here. What a, what a win, though. I mean, what a game, physical, fast. I mean, what, what, what's, how are you feeling right now? That was, a, that was a pretty physical game. Oh, yeah. I, I mean, it, it definitely was, and we responded well. I think, in, I mean, a year ago, we, I think we lose that game. Uh, and a couple months ago, we, may, we might not win it, but we've grown as a team together. And, I mean, you could see everyone was just buying in. Something happens, we're all shaking it off, and we're just playing through the physicality. And we know we're a pretty strong team. We might even be taller than everyone else, but we know we're strong enough to compete with guys like these guys. You definitely... Uh, there was a lot of adversity for you guys in the game. You with foul trouble. Ryan fouls out late third. Max, uh, you know, didn't really get going late, till late third. But uh, everybody, anytime somebody needed to make a play, it seemed like somebody found a way to do it. Yeah, I feel like that's been the story of the whole season. I mean, I foul out more times than I should. And sadly, I think we're used to it. But, um, I mean, we have guys who've stepped up constantly. I went down before the season even started, and we had guys stepping up. Bradley uh, got hurt, and we had uh, Braden Woods stepped up got guys on the bench who are just always ready to go. I mean, iron sharpens iron every day in practice, and they're ready to make big plays. And we got guys stepping up big moments like these, and that's how you win these games. Caden Johnson, I guess the key is that contract that he signed, man, because uh, without signing a contract to not do interviews, you don't get 20 points and 16 rebounds from him tonight. What would you see from him? Seemed like any ball that he wanted, he went and got it. Oh, I mean, when he's buying in and he's, and he's out there, he can out-jump anyone out there. I mean, he might have looked like he barely clipped that dunk in, but I tell you, if he's not tired from a whole game of play, he can really put it down. And when he buys in and goes in there and just pushes guys around and out-jumps everyone like he can, he's hard to stop. What do you think about uh, district final? We don't know who you're going to play just yet, but uh, just kind of what, what it will take to you know, put together a winning performance. Both these teams are very similar. I mean, they're strong, physical. They play great defense, and they rebound the ball really well. And so, I mean, just sit out here and watch, and it's going to be a great game, I know, and I think it's going to be a close game. And just we'll just wait until we get there, I'll say. I think they're pretty similar teams, so it might be same, similar scouting reports from the both of them. Congrats on the win. Thank you very much.